I don't think it's important at all. I had absolutely no idea, um, even up to the point where I had to finally make a decision as oh. to where I wanted to do so initially. So with osteopathic medicine, um, and I think it's changed a little bit, but in certain states, and I don't know for sure if, if that's still an issue, you had to have a rotating osteopathic year if you wanted to do certain specialties. And so I figured, well, what's the harm in doing an extra year of training anyways? So I opted to do the osteopathic rotating year. That, that way it gave me more uh, options, you know, when I finally knew. And even so, the problem is with the timing that you have to apply for these positions, it only gave me about one or two months mm -hmm. into the osteopathic rotating year. So that really didn't help me much. Um, and so I was still left at the end being like, well, what do I want to do? And and then ultimately, I just realized that I liked being able to know about everything. And, you know, even if I'm not going to specialize in that, I would at least know a little bit, have an understanding and be able to send them to the right person. So that's finally when I made my decision. That I was like, well, family medicine, it makes sense. You get to do a little bit of everything <laughs> and treat every age. So, yeah. So I had absolutely no idea before going in. Mm -hmm. Dr. Simmons, you mentioned before that you... you right. I think that, you know, you do 12 weeks of surgery, you do 12 weeks of medicine, you do 12 weeks of OB, and during each rotation, in my case, with the exception of surgery, <laughs> you say, I'm going to do this. Like, I thought for sure when I was at Cook County Hospital in Chicago delivering 12 babies a night, this is what I'm going to do. Hmm. Until the next few weeks when I had to do gynecology, oncology, and I had to, I thought, oh, I can't do this. You know, then I did peds and I thought, oh, this will be fun. And then until some poor child came in, you know, very sick and I thought, oh, I can't do this. So I think you need to go into each one of your rotations with eyes wide open saying, hey, is this a fit for me? And you really will feel it. So I think for, um, traditional Western medical schools, the third year resident, the third year year allows you that mm -hmm. opportunity, and then fourth year you do electives, and so during that period of time you can really kind of formulate before you have to do the match. Yeah, and I've, I've heard that echoed by a lot of, of recent mm -hmm. medical graduates that I've spoken to. They they come in thinking that they're going to do one one specialty, and then completely change their view at some point. Usually in in third years right. they're doing mm -hmm. the rotations.